Hi guys, I'm Rika Misty, ambassador of Japan. Today I'm at um, Taminari Mon, the entrance of Sensoji in Asakusa. Now I'm going to a um, unique uh, ice cream shop which has the thickest matcha ice cream. And you can also choose the levels of the thickness of matcha. I'm really excited. It only takes uh, six minutes by walk. So let's go. <laughs> So this is the ice cream shop uh, Suzuki N, and they actually used to be a tea shop. So of course you can enjoy ice cream here, but at the same time you can buy a variety of um, green tea and other type of Japanese tea. They said the ice cream is from Fujieda, uh, Shizuoka Prefecture, and they are famous for um, growing um, gyokura and also matcha. Tea chocolate premium matcha. Chocolate also has different levels of thickness of matcha. I think the lightest one contains 1.2% of matcha, but the thickest one contains 29% of matcha. Wow, so that's the world's thickest matcha chocolate in this world. So these ones are all matcha ice cream, but they have the different levels of uh, thickness of matcha. So you can choose the thickest one and, you know, light one. And this one actually, the matcha, the matcha is from a tea farm that got a prize from the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fishery. They use a different type of matcha from number 1 to 6. This is なるほど。なるほど。じゃあ、3等このあ、こちらもいいですかありがとうございます。So I ordered number 3 and number 7. So if you look at the colors, that's different, right? Okay, let's taste it. So that's number 3. Yeah, it's milky and creamy, but you can yeah, still you know, feel the good amount of matcha. Mm. But it's not too thick, it's not too bitter. It's good. Now I'm gonna try number seven. Number seven, the thickest one. Oh, yeah, it's really rich. It's like you're eating the tea leaves. <laughs> But, you know, at the same time, it's a good balance of sweetness and bitterness. So I really enjoy it. The ice cream is really smooth. I like this one better. Now I finished it. So personally, I like number seven because it has a nice bitterness and also lovely savory flavor. But for, the, for much beginners, you can probably start with number three or four. But it's always good to compare, like more than two. 
at least two. Now I'm gonna order one brown rice tea gelato and one uh, Japanese black tea gelato with crunchy cookies inside. コンドはコーンのダブルで玄米茶と期間限定のこのクランチのブル紅茶のはいお願いしますはい。They uh, have original drinks too. This time I ordered with a waffle corn and that's the uh, black tea ice with crunchy cookies inside in it and this is um, brown rice tea gelato it has a nice roasty flavor and it matches chocolate cookie mm. this brown rice tea has a um, special flavor too yeah it's beautiful brown rice tea has more aroma and it's really smooth, so it's easy to eat. But for the black tea ice cream, I felt I tasted more the taste of like cookies than tea itself. So if you wanna enjoy the taste of tea, I will recommend brown rice tea ice cream more. Black tea ice cream is only this time, so you can if you're interested, of course, you can try and everybody has different preference. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for watching the video. Actually, this place is getting really popular, especially uh, among international tourists. So I recommend you come here like around 10, 10 o'clock, which is a time when the store open. Otherwise, so many, uh, so many people be there. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get more local tourism information in Tokyo. We are Chan Link. Bye!